My God, look at that view. Sweeping views of the Kinagawa Hot Spring. I knew it was going to be good, right? It's almost as if the room itself is floating right now over the river. But what a perfect view to kick off journey across Japan at 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning? Oh shit. We've got to get going. We've got a journey. A journey across Japan. guys and welcome to Journey Across Japan, non-stop north. We're standing right now on the scariest, ricketiest bridge I've ever been on with what might be the most spectacular view we've ever started the series on, Kinagawa Onsen, over the banks of the Kinagawa River. you're thinking, oh, not another video where we started it sitting in a hot spring. To be fair, yesterday was the day from hell. I drove in the tiniest car through the world's biggest city with the world's worst navigator from Tokyo to Tochigi. Uh, go back and watch that. We got a whole car just for this trip and uh, it was chaos beyond compare. So to be here in the mountains is a godsend. Now, I've always wanted to come to Kinagawa Onsen ever since I saw an article about two or three years ago comparing it to like a post-apocalyptic wasteland. And to be fair, that conglomeration of abandoned buildings there, it does look like it's about to cave in and collapse into the riverside. And yet, having stayed here last night and walked through the nice side of town, actually, I really like Kinagawa. I think it's really unfair that it got that bad kind of reputation the last few years. It's because during the 1980s, during the bubble era, because we're two hours north of Tokyo, when companies were rich and had money to spend, they would come here for company trips and company holidays. And when the money dried up in about 1991, they stopped coming to Kinagawa and hence, all those five or six hotels now are empty and abandoned. But really nice place. And if you're going to Nikkor, I actually recommend maybe staying here. This is kind of what I needed after the chaos of driving through Tokyo. But it's time to go and find Natsuki, meet the team and get the challenge of the day. And now I've got to make it off the bridge. I'm not kidding. I got on this bridge and it started shaking. Look at the rust. I hear my heart racing. All right, we're going to slowly get off the bridge. Come on, oh my God. He's pulling me wondering whether or not to cross the bridge. <laughs> I took a step in the whole bridge. Why not? <laughs> Why? Kinagawa isn't all about decrepit hotels collapsing into a river though, as we head to the star attraction of the town, at last to meet the team. So one cool thing about Kinagawa Onsen is they've got mini land where they've shrunk down entire countries into the size of a field. And you can actually see Tokyo Sky Tree just behind me there, almost to scale, not so many, but we'll check that out in a minute. First things first though, let's meet the team and get the challenge. In this RV, we have Dave, one of the editors. Hey Dave, what are you working on? I'm Ooh. frantically trying to get the intro done. Oh, check this out. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's a good man, good man. Harder work, I like it. Over here we have Ellen, the driver, who's Hi. rifling through a bag. Very good. Uh, and of course, we have uh, Marcus, another editor here, who's uh, not, not editing. Oh, when are we going to be able to eat? <laughs> Less questions, Marcus. More work. Next up, we have Paul, the cameraman, whose reflection you can admire in the back of RV number two. And speaking of RV number two, here are more amazing editors. We've got AG. Hello. And Mario. Hello. Have fun, guys. Enjoy that. Oh, that's a, need a better table. That's very flimsy. And finally, we have Ian, the coordinator, producer, driver, and challenge master, who's uh, prepping your questions. You guys have sent in, I think, quite 7,000 questions. Uh -huh. Ian picks out three every day, puts them in here, and if they're not good challenges, it'll be abroad with redundancy packages. Hey, <laughs> that was a of a bit. Anyway, I never get to do this. It's always the guests. Um, but here is our challenge. Goodbye, Ampa Man. Actually, where the hell's Natsuki? What? I'm not going to open the challenge until he's here. Where's he gone? What are you doing? Natsuki. Look at that. Natsuki. Look at this place, Tobu World Square, the only place in Japan, or maybe the world, where you can see the Louvre and the Empire State Building all in the same shot. Whoa. Tobu World Square, pretty damn cool, right? What do you think? 
Oh, compact walls. Compact walls. The Thames River, clear. Yeah. <laughs> the Thames River actually looks good for once. <laughs> I didn't think of that. All right, challenge of the day, Natsuki. I'll Whoa. let you do the reading. This is what Yay. we've got. One of you guys shush, shush. Shush. Oh, try to Oh, try to find a local celebrity. A local celebrity. celebrity. We have to find a local celebrity in a place where there are no celebrities. If go. Why did in because Tohoku? Yeah, there's, no celebrity. there's nobody famous up here. Just yeah. Natsuki. Oh, famous? Me. Oh, good. No, no, I don't think so. Complete. Natsuki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only it were that easy. I don't know why Ian chose this in the most difficult place. Mm. Maybe someone's going to get fired. Maybe Ian's going to lose his job before the journey's even begun. But huh? all I know is Natsuki's driving today. Me? You're driving. Good luck. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's drive. And so, with Natsuki Zilla having trashed Miniland, we hop in the car and leave Kinagawa Onsen behind and begin our two hour road trip north to the Fukushima town of Aizu Wakamatsu, our first destination in Tohoku on our 2,000 kilometer journey across North Japan. My God, no sooner did we get in the car, the rain started to pour down. We got kind of lucky this morning in Kinagawa. I have to say, Despite its reputation, Kinagawa Onsen was really damn nice. If Journey Across Japan could do one thing, it's dispel some myths about some of these places around the north. But more importantly, look who's driving at last. Hey. <laughs> How are you finding the car so far? Um, no good. Not good? Why? Because low power. More low power? More, more horse racing. <laughs> it's not horse racing, it's a K car. <laughs> it's fine. I think it's doing pretty well so far, given we've already travelled several hundred kilometers but uh, we're on our way to Ochijuku which is this old samurai kind of town. This area despite being really remote on the border between Tochigi and Fukushima deep in the mountains it used to be like a route like an old kind of road that people used to travel to get up to North Japan and uh, there's still a few old postal towns from sort of three or four hundred years ago and Ochijuku is one of them. The only thing I'm worried about is how the hell are we going to pull off today's challenge? I think the real challenge this morning was crossing that rickety road bridge, rusted and decaying. Uh, but we've got to find a celebrity. Celebrity? Celebrity, a famous person oh. out here. Any ideas? Maybe Ken Watanabe? <laughs> Ken Watanabe. <laughs> yes. Samurai. Yes. <laughs> Except he's about four hours away in Miyagi, so no. no we're going to have to try something else. Maybe there's a samurai? Famous samurai? samurai. Don't know. Find out. First things first, let's get to Ochijuku in one piece. I haven't been here in six long years, but my God, it's as stunning now as it was then, although it's a little bit wet. To be fair though, it could be worse. In about two or three weeks time, this region is gonna get some of the heaviest snowfall in all of Japan. And then, well, they're a little bit stuffed. Although to be fair, the thatch roofs kind of keep them all warm in there. It's nice, the telephone cables, electricity are also buried as well. So they've done a good job preserving it and keeping it like it looked during the Edo era. Like back when people used to travel around Japan, they had to walk on foot. These sort of postal towns popped up and kept people fed, gave them hotels, places to stay. Only thing is, it looks like absolutely everything is shut. So that's not so good. I guess because there's rain, they just figured nobody's going to come here today. A correct assumption, given I can't see a single person. Anyway, let's go down, take a look. Oh dear, two dozen shops and they're all shut. We are unlucky man. We're not going to find food, let alone a celebrity. This is stupid. <laughs> I have Oh God. Oh. Stupid town. Wait, what's that? Uh, oh, you need it? Wow. At last, a ray of hope, civilization, and it seems a massive green onion. Today's challenge is starting to look like a write off, but don't worry, at least we have onions. So, usually in this town, they use uh, this massive onion to eat noodles like a chopstick, and uh, I kind of hope we were going to do it, but again, the town's shut, so we can just look at it now and dream, dream of what could it be. They very kindly just let us eat some pickled food. So I'm going to take some of these pickles, and this pickled radish is my lunch. Yeah, they're very nice, though. Having completely failed to find any lunch, we greedily help ourselves to the sample of pickled foods out the front of the shop. Desperation personified. There's barely humans here, let alone celebrities. 
we're stuffed. Hey, the pickles, we just bought some pickles. So people say I'm not very healthy. We're going to spend the rest of the day sitting in our tiny K car eating some rather nice pickles from Oshijuku. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they were nice. Yes, I've seen it. Oh, very kind. Got pickles and hand She formers. gave us. Yeah. How okay. kind. Demo, nobody really famous. Oh, she's very famous. Oh, you're lying, that's good. Oh. We've got to go back to the car and try and find someone before sundown. Come on, let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> no umbrella for you. Oh. Well, we've got our, uh, got our pickles. I got you a treat. Oh. Present, present. Pickles and potato chips oh, for the journey. Man. What have you found there? Have you found a famous person? Yeah, famous person. Right. No, 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 no. Famous cat. A famous cat. Oh. Aizu Wakamatsu. Aizu Wakamatsu cat. So, barely famous. Really? Yeah, really. A famous cat. Is that, does that work as a challenge? Famous person, famous cat? It's great cat. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're right, maybe this will do. And then we can go home and die. I mean, I'm so cold. It's Sammy. Sammy. Here. It's so cold oh. and wet and horrible. Too much junky winter. Too much junky, junky winter. winter. All right, come on, let's go and yeah. find a cat. It better be famous now. <laughs> Can it be? Has Natsuki actually found a local celebrity? Maybe today isn't a total catastrophe after all. Oh dear, cat puns, what have I become? So it turns out Natsuki might be onto something. There is, in fact, a cat station master. So uh, there's a little station called Ashinomaki, and they have a cat with a hat on who works there. It's actually a bit of a trend where they take a decrepit station, put a cat there with a hat, and then people come for it. People come and visit. So it's worth a shot. Technically, it's famous, so fingers crossed. There you go, our famous thing, a cat. Sakura cha. Cha. On grass. Yeah. They're yeah, actually. Me too. <laughs> it's actually Sakura chan's day off today. But Ashinomaki has a famous cat, a station master cat. And they put a hat on it and it sits here and people travel hundreds of miles just to see Sakura Chan. Master. Yeah, station master. To be fair, this is big business. There's a train station in Wakayama where they have a cat called Tama or Nitama and it's worth $10 million to the local economy. So clearly uh, the folks here in this town have uh, cottoned on that there's some money to be had by sticking a uh, cat in some clothes and having it sit in a station. But what day is it today? Wednesday? So, yeah, apparently it takes Wednesdays off, so... Holiday. Yeah, holiday, so you get to enjoy this instead. <laughs> looks like Doraemon. It does a bit. Doraemon looks. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, shame we weren't here tomorrow, or yesterday. But anyway, kind of succeeded the challenge. I don't know, you decide. All I know is... Famous. It's famous. We're both cold and wet. Uh, and we're right next to Aizu Wakamatsu, our end destination. I know a good source katsudon, please. Nice idea. Yeah, let's go and get some sauce cut stuff. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yes. Sauce katsudon, the famous Jeez. dish of Aizuaka Matsu. It's deep fried uh, breaded pork. Look at the thick cuts of pork. Too there. fat. Very fat. Oh, wow, nice. You will be after that. Anyway, cheers, Aski. Oh, cheers. Before you eat. Good job today. You found the famous cat. Good job. Famous cat. <laughs> <laughs> and he's so excited, he choked to death. Oh, so cute. It was cute. We didn't mm. see it, but we saw a puppet of the cat. So it almost is good. Yeah. Oh, I'll admit, lots of things didn't go right today. The weather was bad, Ochijuku was closed, the cat was gone. So, but we had fun, right? And lucky. And that's all that matters, <laughs> yeah. My God, anyway, cheers again. Again. Right, drink more beer now, my God. Too fun. But tomorrow, guys, we continue our journey across Japan, non-stop north, onwards to Kitakata. Nice, yeah. ramen town. It's the mm. ramen capital of Ooh, Japan, so nice. we're gonna be eating a lot of ramen. I expect, but for now, cheers guys. Oh, and uh, cheers. thanks for joining us on the first official episode of Journey Across Japan, Non-Stop North. So fun. Ah. <laughs> it's gonna die. Don't don't long don't so scat song. Don't don't long don't so scat song. Why why? Why why? Why why why?